Welcome to the Steam Smart Podcast, the podcast that's all about Steam, the blockchain-based social media platform that's taking over the world. I'm here with Gabriel Shear at Pied Piper. Hey there, I'm here in Vina Del Mar today. It's it was really sunny yesterday when I showed up, but now it's overcast and everyone's blaming me. So I'm just going <laughs> to dive into this podcast and forget all about that for now. And Stephen Polsky at Sneaky Squirrel. Hey, guys. It seems to be a great day to be in crypto. And I'm George Donnelly at George Donnelly. Today, our topic is steam power. And I have to apologize in advance. Uh, we meant to have a guest for you today. We really wanted to. We were freaking excited about it, to be honest. But the guest canceled at the last moment without an explanation. So, you know, I just hope the person is, is okay. Too, you never yeah. know. You never know what kind of emergencies can happen in people's lives, right? Right, right. Some people really are excited and then they just, things happen and they're like, you know what, whatever's going on in my life takes way more precedence over anything else and I don't owe anybody else an explanation. And You know what, kudos on people who can actually communicate it like that. Yeah, definitely, definitely. All right, so our first question, we're using a new format uh, that, um, you know, thanks to the suggestion of uh, at Sebastian, I think it's pronounced, and other users, we're going with a slightly different format, and we're going to break the show up by question. And so our first question today is, what's the big idea behind Steam Power? Which one of you guys wants to jump on that one? Well, the... Go for it. All right, all right. The, the biggest idea, I think, is that it prevents everybody from just pulling the money out all at once and running. So with other cryptos, we see these pumps and these dumps, and they happen very quickly, large volumes. You can't really do that with steam power. Once you're in there, you're, you're held in there, and you can only power down very slowly. So that, I think, adds a lot of stability. Um, I definitely think that's the case. I also like the fact that the steam power is directly related to um, the value that's further discovered on the platform so that people with that steam power and holding become uh, greater value recognizers over the course of time. So I think that's a, a really remarkable uh, attribute to steam it so it solves that little blockchain problem of you know computing power now with subjective value recognizing it and then being distributed as objective value yeah so for those of us uh, for those of our listeners who aren't familiar with steam power it's one of the three uh currencies in the steam system you know the most basic one being steam which is a uh, fungible inflationary volatile uh, easy to trade, easy to cash out. Another being steam dollars, which are like debt. They pay a little bit of interest uh, and they're pegged to the value of a US dollar. They fluctuate right around that. And the most important, perhaps the most interesting, perhaps, perhaps the most innovative is steam power, which is like, like what? what? What would you guys compare that to? You know, if we're talking about steam dollars or bonds, uh, steam is cash. What, what steam dollar? Uh, sorry, what steam power like? Shares. That's exactly it. Yeah, it's like preferred stock. It's like having uh, an ownership stake, an equity stake in the steam uh, ecosystem, and that that's what makes it really interesting. What are what are some other benefits of of having uh, steam power? Well, it's not capped out, and as long as there's a constant growth, or not even constant, but a consistent growth of the platform at a, uh, at a fair enough rate, there's not going to be this uh, market cap distributed between a lot of people. There's going to be new money able to go to new sources, which is a really, really interesting thing that Steam Power brings. It allows those people who aren't whales yet to just bide their time, recognize good content, and over, over the course of time, that Steam Power will be significantly more valuable in the just not too distant future. Yeah, so it, um, you know, one of the major benefits, you know, is that it, it, it increases the value of your upvotes. So when you submit a post, uh, you know, when you're creating content, a blog post, when you submit it and you upvote yourself, you give yourself 
uh, a boost at the beginning with your upvote, and that's based on how much uh, steam power you have. For example, someone who's completely new will give themselves a boost of perhaps uh, two-tenths of a cent <laughs> if they're lucky, right? If your voting power is at 100%, uh, you might – um, if you have, and if you have steam power of 500, which I, I have now, uh, you might give yourself a boost of a cent. A full cent. Yeah, yeah, I just boosted my post today by a full cent. You can get some watch that go up. That's pretty exciting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. from two tenths of a cent to one cent. Yes. Yeah. Not That's a 500% growth rate, guys. Oh, so exciting. I was pretty excited <laughs> when I was able to move somebody up a penny. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, not my own post, though. Not my own post. That's, uh, that's a different ball game. Not quite mm -hmm. big. Yeah, and, you know, one of the things, of, uh, what, you know, what, what's another benefit, Gabriel, of, of holding steam power? Maybe the biggest one. Well, one more that comes to mind is that it signals your intent in terms of remaining with Steamit for the long term. It invests you in it it makes you part of the team, so to speak, right? So mm -hmm. when somebody comes along and sees somebody with a large holding of steam power, they know that they're not just playing games, they aren't just fooling around, they're actually invested, they have an interest, and they're serious. Definitely, and that can help you attract the attention of whales, right? Yeah. At least, I think that it doesn't automatically lock you in, especially some of those newer content creators who are very well established with high quality, they can automatically get a significant amount of steam power alongside their steam dollars from their content. And that doesn't necessarily mean they're gonna be believers of the steam platform itself. They might just cash out the steam dollars and run. Um, but I think people kind of naturally see the benefit of the long-term uh, Well, holding. the thing with that is that when you, are paid for your post, half of the payment comes in Steam dollar form and that, yes, of course, you, you can cash out, which is great for newcomers because it shows them that it's real, right? You actually get money in your hand that you can spend. The other half of that payment is in Steam Power and that makes it sticky. It means that even if you cash out all your Steam dollars and you go buy something shiny, you still know that half of your payment is still locked up in that system, so you come back, right? Right, you do recognize that it is, over a long enough timeline, actual value that you can cash out. And that's a little bit better than just a shiny big number that is there for an ego boost. So it does, it does keep bringing people back. And even if your intent is to power down, that is sell your steam power shares, right? The process for that takes two years to do, and it's a very gradual process. So even if that is your intent, you still have to come back, right? Mm -hmm. Time and time again. Yeah. yeah. Or you just like mentally write it off and kick yourself in the kick yourself later for powering down steam before it goes to the moon. Well, the thing with that is that it's sort of like those guys who got into Bitcoin really early mm -hmm. and they got a whole bunch of Bitcoin on their hard drive and then forgot about it, right? I have a friend who actually did that with 10 Bitcoin. And in 2013, towards the end of the year, when Bitcoin hit $1,000, he went, whoa, wait a minute. I have a bunch of Bitcoin on, on this old hard drive. So he went and found it, and boom, he had $10,000. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm, yeah. No, that was At least he didn't throw it into the landfill. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Poking at your feels. <laughs> oh, man. It's such a bad story. <laughs> But another, another big benefit of holding steam power and not powering it down or even investing uh, more of your steam dollars into it is that, uh, you know, as, as I mentioned, steam, the, the base currency, the cash-like currency is inflationary. And uh, the, the, the supply of steam ink doubles every year. But 90% of that doubling goes into the steam power on a pro excuse me, on a pro rata basis uh, based on how much you have. So it's almost like you're earning interest. It's not exactly interest, but it is like you're earning interest. So your steam power, you know, it doesn't just increase the power of your upvote, doesn't just signal that you believe in the, uh, in, in the platform. You're, it, it also grows. It, it grows a lot, especially if you have a big steam power balance like some people. 
<laughs> no, it is it is nice to just sit there and hit refresh, 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 and watch it actually grow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and that, and um, you know, some people I've seen some people say like, um, oh, well, the whales have all the steam power, and I was reading a bit Bitcoin talk thread. Um, about that this guy that Tone Vase pointed me to because I'm really trying to understand Tone's criticisms of uh, the whole, you know, the whole steam thing. And uh, so I looked at the thread that he pointed me to and people were like, ah, but the whales have all the power, you know, they have all the steam power. How am I going to get any? And it's unfair. But the thing is that you can accumulate it. You know, if you create valuable content and you power up those steam dollars, you know, over time, the whales are going to see their relative um, shares go down. Right. And I mean, it's, it's the kind of thing where, like, I mean, when people join right now and they're fresh and they're new and they meet me on Steam, it, they're like, oh, you've got all this money. You must have thrown a bunch into it. You know, the, it takes them a minute for me to like point them to my older posts from three months ago. I mean, the fact is I started with zero just like everyone else. And the only difference is that I've been here kind of longer than most. So I've had more time to build more content and gather more followers. And so it, it looks weird at first, but anybody can do this. Honestly. I mean, you have to just kind of carve out a niche for yourself. You have to be honest about what you're good at and what you're not so good at and play to your strengths. You have to be honest about who you work for. I mean, if you're just an artist that wants to express themselves, then you need to be happy with that outcome and not be worried about money. But if you're on steam it because you're attracted by the fact that it pays, which I think most people are it's and and that's your intent is to make money, then you need to be you know, sensitive as to what people want, what people are paying for, what the whales are interested in, and kind of give them that. You know, like if, if you notice that there's a topic that they're all interested in and you're kind of interested in too, you know, do some research, find some interesting articles on it and do some commentary or interview in interesting people like we're kind of trying to do here with the show. Just play to your strengths. And if you just stay at it and keep hacking away, I mean, there are several whales that I've been talking to lately who are making a conscious effort every day to find those gems that are being overlooked. People that have been working at it over and over and keep posting and they're doing decently, but they're not being paid much for it. They're actively seeking those people out to give them a boost, you know, encourage them. Because in the long run, quality content is what's going to establish this platform as being viable. I mean, Money is nice. It's, it's cool to see these little slot machine payouts happen. But if the content is junk, there's no future. So the whole point of the payouts is to attract quality content creators. So if you're good at something, bring it on over here. Bring it from YouTube. Bring it from Facebook. Bring it over from whatever platform you've been using but haven't been being paid for. Amen. Nicely said. <laughs> 